Here we are, next home flipping adventure. This is the Hoarder House. Last time I was here, I was going through 40 feet of snow, if you remember correctly. We couldn't even get in the door, it was so bad here, remember that? Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> it was pretty nasty. So, we have some, uh, we have contractors on the job. Finally, with COVID opened up, we can start uh, to finish this project up, and they've got, uh, some issues with floors, some things to see. You know, we're not done yet. This is a midway. We're probably what? I'd say three quarters. Yeah, three quarters of the way done. So it's coming together, and we got to go ahead and make some decisions and check it out. So, kind of an update and go through some problems. I'm sure we got issues because we always do. So I know with this one we got floor problems and pet stains and everything else. Let's see. Ah, so these are all pet stains. Yeah. Or, have some or you cooking. never know, they could have been human things. Yes, <laughs> yes, true. This that's house true. was pretty bad. That's true. So it still smells. So they've been sanded, but that probably brought up a lot of the smells. So when it's polyurethane, that should seal the smells in. Okay, that'll all go away. Yeah, we, right. we've done houses that smelled worse than this before, so yeah. we should be okay. Look um, at this. Wow, what a so difference. Yeah. What a difference. Because we have so many variations, I mean, this is sanded raw wood, and look how dark. I mean, that that looks like actual stain. Yeah. So we have so many variations. The problem is, when we put, if we put a single color stain on this, all it's going to do is make this darker and this darker. So it's still going to look the same. Right. So I mean, it do? wouldn't look the same exactly, but it would still have this variation to it. Are they so gonna stain what they're going to do is they're gonna mix up a few different stains and pretty much like individually stain sections so that the colors are more uniform. So it'll still have kind so, of the, the light and dark look. Uh, not, as, not as dramatic as this because that wouldn't look good to have. Huh? I mean, you know, if all of the floor looked like that, yeah, we could work with that and have a cool finish. But the problem is, you know, like in this section over here, we have no variation at all. Right. So what they're gonna do is use a darker stain over here and then these pieces that are already darker, they'll use a lighter stain on or no stain at all so that it has a more uniform look to it. Okay. It, it's really a trick of the trade. So remember this area before? It, yeah, I mean, there was stuff piled. High. You had to crawl over the spot in the kitchen. I was because crawling there was, over the spot in the kitchen right here, remember? Remember right here? Yeah, there was that I was fly crawling trap here, hanging. And there was and, a fly trap hanging up, remember that? Yeah. Wow, look at the difference So the though. kitchen looks great. This is really coming together. So, okay, so floor, so floor issue we have solved? Yeah, floor issue we have solved. That's, okay. that's the solution there, is to use that skilled trick to hide the stain. Using stain to hide the stains. Yeah, okay. The Great. front door looks good. The door looks good. The, so the we opened up that wall. Okay, yep. That, there was a wall here. We opened that up. It was too small to put a bar in and the stairs were in the way, so we just thought it would be better just to kind of open it up. And this house also has no dining room. So by opening that up, it just, you know, they could put a table over in the corner. Or a stage, or stage to show that? Probably not. Okay. There's gonna be a bar, no bar top, right? No, there wasn't room. Okay. In this house. So, so these cabinets were in the other house that we did for our Airbnb, and they sent me the wrong cabinets. Uh, they were the chocolate color, yes. and all of my theme had, you know, matched yes. the black color. So I ended up moving these cabinets over here, and they worked almost perfectly. Okay. Do we have crown going on and everything? Yeah. The normal stuff. Yeah. Well, so the kitchen looks good. We're probably about another two, three weeks in this house, maybe. Well, floor, it'll come together yeah. pretty quick, I yeah, think. Yeah, a couple weeks. Let's go see what's going downstairs because the downstairs was a mess too before. This part was like partially finished. This was full of trash. Yeah. So I think oh, we, we could, we could, when we first even, came in, we couldn't even get down here. This is the first time I've been down in this part of the house. I've never seen it before. Oh, I have. Well, you came during construction, but I Well, no, I came to do our scope of work scope after of work. it was cleaned out, yeah. Well, that's what I mean, so, it was cleaned out. Yeah. I haven't been here since then, that's all I'm trying to say. So, so there was this big, huge utility room, and then remember that nasty bathroom? It was just a toilet and a sink. There was a dead dog they found had been rotting there for years, so that yeah. didn't help the smell. So we made the utility room much smaller, moved all of that, you know, the, the okay. furnace and the hot water heater and washer dryer go in there. And then we created this huge bathroom. And we're gonna come back when it's all done. I, mean, I don't wanna spoil the big surprise yet. But it's a full bathroom now. Shower, double vanity, toilet, um, separate water closet, all that stuff. All new so, electrical? Oh yeah. All new electrical, all new, this is all new everything. This backyard, this backyard was so packed. It was so overgrown, it was ridiculous. You couldn't even, you couldn't even see your way through here. 
I'm sure we have footage we can show here where how bad it was, couldn't even see. Now we can see we have an actual yard back here. It's a nice, good-sized yard, too. So this room is kind of multifunctional. They could use it as a family room. It does have a door that comes in from the garage, so it's not ideal for a master oh, bedroom. Okay. But if somebody needed the space and they'd have this beautiful new bathroom, yeah. we'd have to put a door on at the top of the stairs. Or they could put their own door. Yeah. I but, think we keep it open now just to, to make it feel open, don't you think? Because when you're looking through a house, that'll feel like it's closed. It does. And somebody could see that and go, this could be nice. I mean, I think anybody could see, well, let's not say anybody. Most people could see they could put a door on there and keep this a separate spot. Do you agree or no? I, I don't know. I don't know if I agree on that or not. I, I might go ahead and put a door on there just because... The door's going to open up into the kitchen. Right. I think, I think I could close it right off. This could be a living space or it could be a... It could. We have three bedrooms upstairs, right? People like to just have move-in ready houses too. They don't want to have to do anything when they move in. So, so are you going to market this as a master suite down here? Uh, originally, I think the idea was to put a pocket door in so that it could just like feel open. So That's we, what I we, think I had said and I don't think it got so executed. This happens from time to time is that Amber will have something on the scope work specific for a reason. Like that's a great idea. Yeah, but you can't put a pocket door after the fact. So now you have to go back and see what happened. What happened in our process? What happened in our system? When you're running a big business and you have a lot of houses at once, it's not possible to be here every single day. We have a project manager, but he can't be here every day. But sometimes small details get mixed but a, or missed, but a small detail can be a big, yeah, that would've been great. I know. A pocket door would've been a great idea. Like I remember in my mind having that conversation why about- you, Why didn't you put a pocket door you know, there? Do we have plumbing or electrical in the way and- Why didn't you get that done, woman? That was your job. <laughs> oh. I hope you got that. You guys all see that? You feel bad for me? Yeah. Don't, beat feel, on me. don't feel bad for him. And then this is going to get painted white and we had extra cabinets here. So they're actually going to build those cabinets right in just for extra storage. Okay. Interesting. I mean, master suite next to the garage. Yeah, not the it's, worst not, thing like, the, it's, well, not, it's not perfect. No. You know, because if you have your family full of kids and they're traipsing through your master bedroom, but you never know how people are going to use their home either. If they need the space, this is a great master bedroom because it has the nice ensuite right there. You know what would be great there? A pocket door. A pocket door. door. I don't know if you could mess with this wall. Remember, basically that's coming out and you're only having, basically yeah. they're, they're turned sideways, right. only three quarters of an inch thick. You're supporting this weight of the stairwell. I don't, I don't think you could have done that here. Where is that a stairwell? That's not the stairs. The stairs are on the other side. That's not a stairwell. What is this thing? A closet up there. There's a closet above. Oh, there. you know what that is? I'm oh, sorry. You're right. Well, it's not a closet. It's a cl they have a thing in this closet. You'd have to see it. Yeah. What I, is that for? I think that was for. Oh, it was duck. Yeah. It will. Yeah. Then it comes up and then it goes up into this. You don't know what's in. You don't know what's in there. No, we never had to pull it apart. Probably a body. Hard to say what's in there. So now we're doing the stain. So here we we're go. We're gonna be getting high. Woo! Don't step in there, babe. Don't put I your know, foot. I know. I know. That's gonna look good, actually. Well, I didn't realize he he uh, sealed it. So when you seal it first, it makes the stain go on more even. Okay. I think that's fine. The color looks... Uh, the color looks on. good. Yeah. That's not good. So, I mean, we can pull this out or cut it down or get it low to the ground like we did before. But even if you cut it out, there's no way you can plant stuff around it because but, the root systems are going to be ridiculous. Yeah, is that what, that's what I want to know. Is that what we're doing? Are we planting stuff? I, we probably should do a little landscaping here. Did we chop those down? I don't remember. Yeah, were, there big, yeah, were there big shrubs here? All this got taken out, and the back was just it was exactly the same. Why is there two layers? Why is there two layers of soffit? Do we know? That's a good question. It was the same reason why there's three foot of crap inside the house. You know, it's just okay. They went over the top of existing stuff. Are we taking that down, or what are we doing? We have to change that all out. We we can't. That soffit is kind of hard to find. So I want to match what's underneath. Okay. It'd be nice to actually pull that out and bring it down so we don't have to buy it. 
Yeah. Okay. That'll yeah. save a little money there. Yeah, as long as it's sure. in good shape and it looks like it's not in bad shape at all. I think this house, this time of year, this neighborhood, the yard's got to look good. We, the, the curb has got to look good. Yeah, I think we need up. to clean all that crap out, get it so get it mowed down to grass level. This is still on our side, so we'll take that the dead stuff out and some of the vines out of there. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you have to go too crazy with the vines and stuff because it, it almost does provide a nice barrier between the neighbors. So I'm less worried about that. I mean, I think we need to clean it up some. And then let's get this mowed down so that it's at least like looks like a yard instead of just a bunch right, of I think pile right of weeds. Down too. I think it's just, yeah. yeah. Does the AC unit work? Uh, no. Are we, are we putting another, another AC unit in? No, I don't think it was originally in a budget. This, uh, we're selling in the dead of, dead of summer. We can't sell a house for 200 grand and not add an AC unit. You can't do this. You can't, you can't make a decision in the beginning and give us a budget what and then... I never well, said we to must put an have, AC. Yes, we must have. I, because we have that conversation when we did the scope fairness, of work. In fairness, I had no idea there was AC or not there. AC, the weeds were 15 feet high. I didn't know if there was AC or not. So, I, I, I don't think you can sell a house in Gildan for over 200 grand and not have AC in the dead of summer. I don't disagree with you. We should have just done that in the beginning though, not so in the 11th currently hour. Currently our process is not great. We I don't like we that. We talked about that. We, it's not been great. Well, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, we did go through normally like, like, like we always have, you know, it went down right through the scope, but I don't think anybody realized that there was AC in here because you couldn't see anything. Is it forced to other vents in here now? Yeah, yeah. It's vents, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. We, we did put a new furnace in. So, Neil, I don't think we necessarily bring the bed out to the sidewalk. No, no, That's too big. Maybe come out to where the step is and maybe come out in a semi-circle or some out here a little bit. Yeah. A yeah, kind of, kind of yeah. do a couple little curves in there, yeah. and then we'll get some shrubs, maybe a couple of boulders or something, and put them in there. Um, and then same thing over here. This whole thing needs to be a bed, and then black mulch. Um. You know what, here, let's do a dark brown mulch. I normally like the black, but with all the tones here, let's stick with the dark brown. Okay. And then edge, you know, we'll have to edge yeah, that and make yeah, it look so decent. I mean, the yard isn't gonna be perfect, but if we can just keep it as like mowed down and weeded as possible, at least people can see that there's space. The yard won't be perfect, but as long as we make the house hot with no air conditioning, we should be good. I don't think that was called for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's my fault, whatever it is, so. <laughs> Direct it to both of us. <laughs> All right, so we're done. Hopefully about three weeks we're done. Got a lot of work, a lot of work to get done, a little stuff, but now that we're back in session, we're doing our thing, so. Yep. Unless you want to close with? I love you, honey. That's the end of this whole flipping adventure. I don't think she was sincere with that. See you in the next one.